how do you tell uh exit route from a bed so, so you you know you found a bit nice buck but how do you tell the exit route from the the um, entry route um uh exit routes are easy to tell because they're the ones you can see mm. entrance routes most of the times when those bucks go into the bedding they come in from the down one side they swing around they don't necessarily stay on a trail um generally they swing off of the trail when they start getting close to like within 100 yards or something and they they tend to swing the downwind side and smell the bedding area before they enter it mm -hmm. but when they get up in the evening to leave they just get up and they go down the main trail now what you will find is you'll find multiple trails it ain't that one of them is the um entrance one's the exit it's that at some time of the year they exit one way because of one thing like say in rut they're exiting towards the doe bedding area or towards where does feed and uh um in uh september they're exiting towards acorns and you know in uh um uh, october 1st they're exiting towards corn you know or, or whatever they're doing but they might have multiple uh exits but the entrance is uh, always a little off i mean that's not to say they don't occasionally walk right down that trail and go in there flop in but it's a lot a uh, lot less predictable in the morning um, the main trails you see are generally coming out of bedding. Hmm. That's a good tip. Obviously, like in marshes and swamps, it's usually a little more obvious. I mean, um, and in that case, your entry and exit, exit trail could be the same, right? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you know um, like in, in marshes, it's kind of the good thing is when they have when they want to enter from downwind. Mm -hmm. A lot of times there's only like one trailer forced on because in the cattails, right. they can't just walk anywhere. And you can kind of uh, predict that. Yeah. What happens whenever you have uh, two exit trails? How do you decide which one you're going to set on? Uh, well, when I'm scouting, I'm trying to do detective work. Why are they bedding here? When are they bedding here? For what reasons? And if I determine one of those trails, I think goes towards doe bedding. I'm going to think that that's probably, you know, late October, early November, probably not quite into November too much. Cause once it's full rut, they're not in those same bedding areas, but that late October, they're going to probably head over and see what the does are doing or go to where the does are feeding or whatever. So, yeah. um, if I determine a trail's going up to an acorn flat, that's probably when there's acorns up there. Um, if I'm confused about it, which is a lot of the time, it's, it's not as rocket science as I just made it sound. Mm -hmm. If you don't know or whatever, you're just looking at the sign, you're sliding your way in there and you're saying, okay, there's no fresh rubs here, but there's fresh rubs on this exit, you know, and you're, um, you're hunting where the fresh sign is, whether it's rubs, whether it's tracks or whatever. One trail's got, you know, a couple tracks on it. They don't look real fresh. And the other one looks to be uh, rotor tillered, you know? Yeah. That's, that's, that's how you judge it. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta, you know, like I'll, uh, I'll know of a bedding area, say, and uh, I'll check it out from hundreds of yards away because I know that when they come out of there, there's a cornfield to go to or something. And I'll walk mm -hmm. that cornfield. And uh, if I hit sign on that cornfield coming from that direction, then I'll go to that bedding area and I'll sit on that trail that's going towards that corn. You know, um, things like that. Or I'll have a trail camera on a food source. You're getting pictures of a deer there that's coming from that bedding area. Well, it's... I can be right. relatively sure which trail he's going on to get there. Hey everybody, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.